Dom Stay Dream. It's your girl Dom, and this is my wedding series. So if you watch my last video, you'll see all the reasons why I had to cancel my huge wedding. I'm still gonna get married to my best friend this year. It's just not gonna be that huge big thing. It's gonna be like a much smaller scale, and I'm still having bridesmaids because I've been engaged for two years. We all know this. I can't stop saying this because it's such a long time to be engaged, at least in my mind. And these girls have scratch that. These women have been in my life and have been a part of my bridal journey. So they, they deserve a really good gift. And it's been a two year journey. So they, they definitely deserve it as much as I deserve to be married. Now, this was originally supposed to be a bridal proposal video, but I got engaged on my birthday. Two weeks later, my friends and I, we all go to a rave and I haven't asked anyone to be in my wedding party. We get super trashed, if you know what I mean. And <laughs> I ended up asking them there and that was not my original plan. My original plan was to take them to brunch and like, kind of like get them a little boozied up and have full happy tummies and then give them their bridal proposal boxes. These boxes now serve as more of a thank you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for doing this journey with me. And thank you for being part of a huge stepping stone. And let's get to the video. So here are the supplies you're going to need for your bridal proposal box, or in my case, a bridal thank you box. So what I got here is a cute little card. Obviously the other ones say, will you be my bridesmaid? I'm gonna fill it with like sweet little nothings. Uh, definitely some box filler, a cute little candle, a mask, and a really cute robe for them to get ready in. I definitely got some cute little gold under eyes. And I got this little wine cover. It says, I can't say I do without you. Will you be my bridesmaid? I also got Stella Rosa. It was just such a pretty bottle and it's delicious. I got this very cute box from Target. It was only $4.99. I also have a black Sharpie, but you can use any color. I wanted gold, but I'm too lazy to go out and get one. And a pencil. And then I also have this really cute ruler. Obviously that's not gonna go inside. You'll see how that goes. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, oh friends. So I'm gonna start out by putting their names on the box. I have my handy dandy yardstick. I was gonna say ruler again because you know, it's a mesh. And I'm just gonna measure out where I want it. I don't want it too high up or too low. I kind of want it just a little bit under the middle. Make sure it's all nice and straight. If it's not perfect, that's fine because I'm using a pencil that comes with an eraser. We all make mistakes. We're human. That's okay. We just have to accept it. Now, if you don't have amazing handwriting or you're not talented with calligraphy there's definitely people online nowadays where you can pay them to do the calligraphy for you also on Etsy they offer like, custom vinyl name stickers so that's also an option you can even just ask a friend I would have definitely asked my mom to do this for me. She uh, grew up going and attending all those Catholic schools where nuns were actually allowed to just like hit your hand if you had terrible handwriting. So she has the most phenomenal handwriting. Like even when she signs those electronic signatures for like credit cards and stuff, it is like on point y'all. But you know, we can all be our mothers, right? Now that I wrote her name in pencil and I feel pretty confident about how it looks. I'm going to use the black Sharpie. Honestly, I think gold would also look really gorgeous because of the trim. I'm actually going to also use the really thin tip version or not version, but the thin tip side of the marker. And if I don't like it or if I mess up, I'll just go over again with that thick soloi. And just remember to take your time. You're not in a rush unless you're doing this right before you see them, which I do not recommend. That's like usually what I do for birthday cards. I'm like in the car while 
while Jake is driving and he's like, you have better handwriting, so you have to write like the birthday messages and stuff. In addition, not only did I make these boxes for my bridesmaids, I also made a mother of the bride box because my mom has definitely been there for me through this whole situation and pretty much my entire life. Not be it, not be it, not be it at all. So I got this box from Target. It was only $4.99. I don't know if they still sell it, but they definitely still have a whole bunch of really cute boxes like this. If you can't find anything that you like, they also sell boxes at Michael's. And it doesn't even have to be a box. Honestly, I've seen crates. I've seen cute little bags. But these boxes screamed out to me. And they were just so stunning and so gorgeous. <laughs> Now it's time for the fun part where you get to start filling it up. I got this little party filler for usually for gifts and such from Dollar Tree. They are two ounces each, but honestly, you just need one and a half. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. Just kidding, there are no hoes in this house. I am a very loyal woman. And when you're filling up the box, you just wanna make sure that you're getting all of like the little empty spots, making sure that it looks very full and very even. And you don't have to use the whole bag of these. You could still save it for like a different project or even for Easter so it doesn't go to waste. I'm Filipino and like wasting things is such a huge sin. And obviously you don't have to be Filipino to not waste, but that is like so deeply embedded into our culture. Another reason why I got the filler was because without it, everything just kind of like sunk to the bottom of the box. I do have some glass items, so it will give it some more protection. It's funny, I did three other boxes like this for my mom and my two other bridesmaids, and my cat was all about these. So that's another thing. You could just pour it on your cat and let them go to town. Honestly, she just saw one and she thought it was a bug and she was like, <laughs> and it was so freaking cute. Also, she saw this box and just decided to sit in it. And I was like, who do you think you are? A really cute cat? Yeah, yeah, you are a really cute cat. Back on task. Now to fill her up with some goodies. The next thing I'm going to put in my box is this super duper cute robe. I chose this one because one, I could get it shipped really quickly. Two, it was a lot affordable than getting it from Etsy. Three, it has really nice quality. It has really cute little lacy trims on the side. Another thing is my bridesmaids, the most gorgeous women in the world, are of all different sizes. So what I liked about this company is that they offer anything from like extra small to plus sizes. And so it was really nice that they accommodated that. And also it's my colors, which just so happened to be like burgundy, dusty blue, gold. So that fit into the realm quite nicely. I'm definitely gonna follow it up with this mini Stella Rosa bottle. It also fits in kind of like that color scheme. It didn't have to be like the dark one. They do have like the Stella Rosa black which is more of that darker burgundy, but this one definitely tastes a lot better. And before I got those bottles, I purchased these I Can't Say I Do Without You, Will You Be My Bridesmaid? to go on top of the bottle. But then when I went to put on this specific bottle, it has the Stella Rosa crown crest on there, which is also very stunning. But when you put a sticker on it, it just gives a very uneven surface. And like I said, we're Filipino, so we don't waste anything. So I just decided to put it on the inside of the box. And this was also from Amazon. They sell these stickers on Etsy as well. I really liked like the cute little greenery on it. See, like when she opens the box, she's like, what? Of course I'd be your bridesmaid, but they already said yes. And then the next thing I'm gonna put in there is this cute little mask. 
I got this from Wally Mart. I actually tried it on myself before I gave it to my bridesmaids because I wouldn't feel right giving them like skin products that might irritate their skin. I particularly like this one because it is very hydrating. It says Glacier Water Pink Peony. It smells really good. It's a gel mask and it's just nice for different skin types. Leave on mask instantly, calms and softens for glowing skin. And even though it's my day, I want my girls to be glowing and beautiful and happy with gorgeous skin, which then leads me to these super cute little eye patches. I got this from Amazon. It actually came in a huge pack, so all my girls get two when I find the other one. And I'm just gonna place that on top of this one. Oh, I found the other one. Whoops, the doozies. Then I'm gonna follow it up with this really cute candle. This also is in my colors. It has like really cute little glass scallopings on it. It's the Blue Lagoon scent and it smells very refreshing. I'm gonna pop that baby in there too. And the last thing is, will you be my maid of honor or will you be my bridesmaid card? Uh, I got this from Target. Whenever Target has like their bridal stuff out, I always scope through because I've been engaged for two years. So I've had two years of like different Targets putting out different wedding stuff. And this was just a dollar and it's so cute. It's empty which is fun, but I'm gonna fill it with like a thank you and all that jazz. And I'm just gonna place that right here. So this is the final look. I hope, whoop, girl, where are you going? I hope they love it, which they're my besties. I know they will. The hard thing is, is that I'm going to be traveling from Denver to San Diego. So I already had the boxes pre-made and if you're traveling as well I have these rubber bands that Jake got from work shh don't tell anybody and I'm just gonna seal them off just to make sure when I open up my suitcase like all these boxes aren't crazy open you can also just do it when you get to the restaurant or get to your next destination but I, when I land, I know that I won't really have too much time because we're going to go straight to dinner and stuff. So, got to save, safe. And it, it keeps it really sealed. Like, nothing, nothing is going to open up. I'm holding it by the lid and it's not opening up. Which is nice. Alrighty, folks. That's it for today. I hope you loved my bridal proposal box as much as I loved making it. I can't wait to give it to my bridesmaids this weekend. And until next week, bye!